My name is Christian Fuchs. I'm a 37-year-old Peruvian artist. I have a very unusual way of doing portraits. I work with documents, old photographs, and old uh, paintings of my ancestors. Actually, I do self-portraits. Uh, I use my body as a vehicle to channel the, the emotions and the personalities of, of my ancestors. This is like a way to relieve their memories in this lifetime. At first I was working with old photographs and doing collages, but then I felt that it was not enough. So one day, sitting in my living room, I was thinking what else could I do to make it different, to bring my ancestors to life. So I was looking at one of my ancestors and I thought maybe I could look like them uh, in a way and so I decided that day that I wanted to, to, to recreate them and, and use my body for that. So I went to the hairdresser and talked to my to a tailor I have, and that's the way everything started. Dressing like them and reinterpreting them puts me in another time period, because when I look at myself looking differently, it changes your, your perception about the surroundings and, and everything. Yes, I feel different because I enter into their lives and I start getting feelings that just appear. And maybe I'm sure they are not of, of this time. The process of transforming himself into ancestors from the 19th century can take many months. Well, of course it's different to make men and women, it's like a different process because, well, starting that I have to wax and, and I have to look feminine, you feel in a way more fragile and sometimes it's like women are more dreamy, uh, men are like, they have stronger character and it's totally different and it's not without its challenges. It's just part of the process and I have to, to go through these things. I don't care if I, when once I had to, to go to the hospital three times in 24 hours because of the allergy that I have had after waxing, but I believe the results are better than everything that I went through when I was doing my third great-grandfather, Carl Schilling. I had to grow my beard and I was living with uh, beard for over a year. I, start to st I started to feel really old. When I was like looking myself at the mirror every day, I started the day already tired. I was at the bank once and they asked me to, to go to the other line for, for older people. And that was funny since uh, I was with this white beard because I, I dyed it like, I don't know, more than one month uh, before I made the portrait to, to feel the character. All these things that I have studied during the process of each character, I believe everything appears in the picture. I don't know if the people that look at the portrait notice all these these emotions, but I believe everyone can, um, can get something of what was happening during the moment of the, of the portrait. Fox and his brother and sister were brought up by their Chilean-German paternal grandparents. Diagnosed with schizophrenia, his mother was admitted to a psychiatric hospital where she died five years later. His father left the family, remarried, and disappeared. I believe my biggest inspiration was always my, my grandmother. I believe she was, for, for her, was very easy to, to move between times. Uh, sometimes she was like thinking of something and 
I always asked her, uh, what are you thinking? And she said, uh, I'm uh, walking uh, through, the, through the woods behind the house of my grandparents and thinking of them. And that was like every day. She had them always very present in her daily life. And now it's the same with me and her since, since she left. Buck's grandmother, Catalina del Carmen Silva Schilling, died earlier this year, and he says she will be his greatest challenge as a portrait. Yes, I will do my, my grandmother for sure, after some time has passed, because now I'm in mourning, but um, I'm thinking of how I will portrait, um, interpret her in what age, how could I like look closer to her. Fox is painstakingly researching the lives of more of his ancestors. This is going to be my life project for sure. Yes, I still have to do so much research. Even though I have so much information, I will continue doing more research, traveling, visiting relatives and trying to find out more because you never end up knowing more things about them. It's, it's important so I can make them more accurate. It's a journey of self-knowledge because if I know them, I will know myself better.